All right, intro. I'm going to start taking you all around the kitchen so you can kind of compare like what our equipment is versus what you have at home. So I'm probably going to flip the camera back and forth a little bit, but I'm going to try and keep everything nice and steady. All right. So right now we're talking about equipment. So I'm going to focus on the large equipment in our lab and then you can kind of see what you have at home and compare it to that. Okay. All right, guys, here's our kitchen. We have some tools hanging up as we come in. And then here will be your first stop when you come into lab is washing your hands. Okay, we have two hand washing stations. We have one right here. And then here is our second hand washing station. Okay, and then we also, in case you forget, have the steps up here on how to wash your hands. Okay, the next thing that we may have here in lab that you do not have at home is a four compartment sink to wash our dishes. Okay, as well as we have a dishwasher too sitting right here. That's dishwasher number one in our lap. Okay, so four hour, four compartment sinks. All right, right here is our sprayer where you will spray off your dishes. Okay, and then you have your wash sink. Okay, we have our rinse sink, our sanitizer sink, and then we have our drying rack. Okay, so with our sanitizing sink, you let everything soak in there for about a minute before we take it out. Okay, and then we also have another two sinks over here in the front of our lab, and these are our um, produce and protein sinks. If you need to rinse off like a potato or whatever goes in the sink that's produce, if we're doing anything with meat, that goes in the sink with protein. Okay, now moving along so here is kind of like a view of this side of the kitchen so you can see everything all right and the table's kind of on top right there we haven't put it up because for cleaning purposes right now and on the bottom you can see we have our cutting boards all the different colors all right so we are going to start with this piece of equipment right here this is called a speed rack all right it has wheels so you can wheel it around the lab and that's where we store all of our sheet trays. Okay, so we have all the different sizes. This one, this big one is a full sheet tray. And then we have the half sheet trays, which you can see here. All right, so that is a speed rack. Equipment number one. All right, moving on to our second piece of equipment. This one right here. This is a double convection oven. Okay, so we are gonna open it up so you can see the inside. All right, you know you might have a convection oven at home is if you see a fan in the back, okay? The fan circulates the air, okay? So then it cooks your food at about a 25% faster rate and you also have to lower your temperature by about 25%. So if your recipe calls for you to have your oven on 350, you have a convection oven, you put it on 325 and it would also cook faster. So right here are all our buttons to turn it on. Okay, we have our on button, we have our timer, or yeah, our timer, and then our temperature. And then we also have our fan speeds, okay? And it's the same thing, we have four of these ovens in the kitchen, here are two right here. All right, moving on, okay, to this piece of equipment, and we have four of these, okay, two side by side. So these are called open burner ranges, and the reason why it's an open burner range, if you look, you, you can actually see the flame, okay? At home, you probably don't see this. You have a different type of start, but here you can actually see the flames. All right, the open burner range, I'll back up so you can see it a little bit better, is this entire piece of equipment, okay? For our open burner ranges, we actually have a regular conventional oven that's attached, okay? And you can see the inside, it just doesn't have any racks in it right now, okay? Our handles for our oven, or our range to turn it on are right here. Okay, so that would be full heat. Very rarely will you turn it up all the way, okay? A nice middle heat is pretty good. All right, up here, this big piece of equipment, this is called a salamander, okay? This is what broils your food, makes it all toasty and delicious. You could broil the tops of pasta, you could broil pizza, okay? This gets extremely hot. This lever here allows you to lift this so it gets closer to the flame, and this is what turns it on, okay? All right, 
moving on, moving on down the line. So this whole, okay, line of equipment is called the line. Why is it called the line, you might ask? It's because you will be working on the line. It's a line of equipment. All right, moving on to right here. This one, this is a grill. It is a char grill. It's an indoor grill. Anything you wanna cook on the grill outside, you can cook on the grill inside, okay? So your hamburgers, your hot dogs, your chicken, fish, whatever can go on here, okay? And you can see their grates. And then we have our nozzles here, or our handles that will turn it on. Moving on to our next piece of equipment. This is a griddle with two Ds, G-R-I-D-D-L-E, okay? It's flat. It's also known as a flat top, okay? Um, if you've ever been to Waffle House, this is what they cook all your food on, okay? We have our nozzles to turn on the griddle, okay, and to heat both sides up, so it's great for breakfast foods like pancakes, eggs, bacon. You can also do sandwiches on here. Um, we've made fried rice on here. There's a lot of different things you can do. It's just flat. So a griddle is a flat top versus a grill has grates. Okay, moving on to this piece of equipment, which if you love fried food, this is what it is. It's a deep fat fryer. Okay, that is the inside. That is where all the oil would be. It's not filled up right now because we're not cooking anything. Okay, then we have the inside. And this is where we would turn it on as well as drain out the grease. All right, moving on to our next piece of equipment that we have here in our lab. Okay, this is called a kettle. All right, this is used for large quantities of liquid, which would go inside. All right, and then moving along, which we're using for storage right now, but underneath, is the tilting skillet. You may be curious of why it's called that. All right, we're gonna open it so you can see the whole inside. And then the nozzle, the temperature gauge is right here. And it's called a tilting skillet because you have this hand crank here and it will actually tilt, okay, the inside as you see, like so, okay? Anything you do in a normal skillet on the stove, you can do in here, but in very, very large quantities. Okay, so things you would do in here, we've made stock in here, makes a large quantity of stock. We have also done fried rice in here for a large quantity. Um, we've done a huge amount of eggs, so it just kind of depends on what's going on and how big um, of quantity we need to make or whatever we're catering. All right, so from this standpoint, you can almost see the entire kitchen. You can see all the work tables we have with a bunch of stuff on them. So here's a nice view of everything. So up here, we have our hood vents. This is our fire suppression system. So if you do start a fire, the whole kitchen doesn't catch on fire. All right, over here, you can see the whole thing. This is another dishwasher, okay? And this one's pretty simple to use. So usually we store all of our red and green buckets up here for cleaning. All right, right here is where we spray our dishes. Then they go in here and then there's a handle and we just pull it down, okay? All right, moving on. This front part of the kitchen is used specifically for demo, which is what we have set up right now for culinary one and culinary two because we're demoing candies. Okay, so this whole area is a demo area as well as when um, we have things for class that you need to grab specifically, it will be up there. Um, and you can see the different, the TVs that we'll use to demo with. All right, right here, we have a stand mixer sitting out. Okay, it has your bowl, um, it has a dough hook because we made pretzels recently, and there we go. And the rest of our stand mixers are kept in here, as you can see. All right, so this piece of equipment, let me stand back right here. This is a refrigerator, okay? Down there towards the back of the kitchen is the freezer. The way you can tell the difference is up here, okay? There is a thermometer that's gonna tell you what it is. All right, so open it up, as well as when you open it, you can also see the ingredients that are in here and you can tell, yes, that is a refrigerator. Moving on to this 
next piece of equipment. This one right here. This is a holding slash proofing cabinet. Holding cabinet, for that aspect, it keeps our foods hot, okay, at a, at a specific temperature. As a proofing cabinet, we use it to let bread rise. All right, next to this one right here, next to our proofing slash holding cabinet is the ice machine. Should you ever stick your hands directly into the ice machine? The answer should be absolutely not. Chef Shelkoff will make you empty the entire ice bin and clean it out yourself if I catch your hands in there, okay? You use the scoopers, which are sitting on top of the ice bin, okay? If you need to get it ice, you open it up, you use the scooper, get what you need. All right, moving on, microwave. Super easy, open it up, use your buttons, whatever you need. Okay, over here we keep a lot of our baking ingredients. All right, other side of the kitchen. You can see we have a second grill. Okay, here are our other two open burner ranges. Okay, then we have another um, salamander up there, also known as a broiler. Okay, here are our second set of convection ovens. Remember, those are the ones with the fan that cook your food faster. Okay, and then this big one right here, this remember is our freezer. Okay, freezer. It's currently at 18 degrees. So hopefully you would be able to identify and figure out that that is a freezer. Then we have our spice rack. All right, this is another stand mixer, but it's for large quantities. Okay, and then so you can kind of see what this side of the kitchen looks like. Here we go. All right, and then we have our food pantry in here. And depending on what you need to grab, this may or may not be open for y'all to use, okay? Um, then we have the rest of our smallware stored, okay? Our muffin tins, all of that, okay? All right, come back over here to the beginning. So you get a nice view. You can kind of see everything. And then these down here, these are our large stock pots for large quantities of liquids. Okay, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this tour of our culinary kitchen. Um, and we are going to talk about this more when we are in class together, as well as when we eventually come back in here and have lab at some point. Okay. Um, yeah. So I hope y'all have a good day and thanks for watching.